So welcome to the Water Cube. Can you just quickly introduce yourself and show us your name card? Sure, Nicholas. Uh, I'm Finn, Finn Targrimsen, Longinotto, with uh, Conservation International here, yeah. okay. the Chairman's Council, in fact. I also work with uh, Global Green USA, which is the American affiliate of Green Cross International in their water program okay. and okay. sustainability programs. So what brings you to the World Water Week specifically? Uh, well, I had missed last year, and I was here two years ago. And uh, I think what's particularly interesting, this one was the subtitle of the urbanization and uh, some awareness of the huge problems there and uh, trying to see if there's some solutions and just interested in that aspect primarily. And are there solutions or do you see something yeah. going in the right direction? Well, I mean, that was the, the interesting thing is that um, the number of cities that have to be built from scratch for the population growth uh, presents opportunities, which I hadn't really thought of. And people know how to go about it. Um, but explaining it and getting the message across in terms of advocacy to policy makers and so on and, and especially outreach to the, the users, the end people, is, is not always done and is especially difficult in existing cities and slums and unregulated water areas. So to me that was a realization of the magnitude of the problem for um, the world when you have growth, especially sprawling cities that are not regulated in terms of sewerage and so much. So what's the angle that Conservation International takes on this? They are, well as the name says, a conservation group essentially, but their uh, mission is towards human well-being. So making sure that ecosystem services and the totally healthy ecosystem, um, which has to be there for all sustainability, is, um, is enforced and that the, everything that we do is sustainable and the business is sustainable and water plays such a large part right across everything that um, water security and related food security and so on all come in a very strong part of human well-being, which is one of the emphasis of water conservation. And uh, what do you do? Do you do work in different countries or working more on the policy level? I'm not actually working with them, okay. in that sense a friend of Conservation International. Sure. I'm personally working actually with Global Green where we have a, a water program too, but my particular emphasis is uh, in a totally different area it's security and sustainability, but I'd like to see some of these areas come together, just as over the years we've seen That's water and sanitation come together, now we're seeing um, other aspects uh, coming into it too, environmentalism so, and forestation and so on. The security aspect that I'm also involved with, the totally different programs to do with arms control, uh, has the same tools, it requires the same outreach. If you're going to do something, explain to people what is in their benefit to, to do. Okay, I've organized a session here yesterday on striking wash communications. Yep. So uh, I had to miss that, unfortunately, there was another one. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry about that. But it's also available online, um, uh, look at it. washcommunication.blogspot.com. Yeah. 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 But in any case, yeah, this is a key issue. Yeah. What, what is, um, I mean, maybe Conservation International or uh, the other organization? Global Green. Global Green. Green Cross. You know, doing on, the, on, on that aspect. I mean, well, what, where do you see well, the key I mean, partnerships I think, I think in terms of strengthening? Anything, I'm, I'm not qualified yeah. to speak about it, but one of the things that is encouraging is that these separate communities wash and uh, water provision and so on, the other side of it, are coming together and talking about the same problem. I think that's very constructive. Um, I'm not specifically doing anything in that area, but where I was yesterday while you were doing your session was at a very interesting session of actually CI Conservation International and TNC, the Nature Conservancies, on dams and whether they you know, create more problems than they solve. And that, I think, is an example of, um, to answer your earlier question, are things there that can be done? Yes, there are things. And um, dams can be put in the right place where fish can still get to spawn. Um, if they are already there, a large part of it can be mitigated by reflooding areas that need the sediment and so on. So there are solutions to many problems, but we're not getting the message across to the policymakers always, and especially to the people actually who are affected by it. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Very welcome, Nicholas. Fun. Thank you.